It's been incredibly easy for the children to get into using um, Digimap. Most of them, it's been a case of uh, literally just logging them into it and letting them get on with it. It's very simple to use Digimaps in the classroom. Obviously, it's, it's geared up for using on the interactive whiteboard um, so that it's visible for everybody in the class and you can zoom in and out of it and pick out uh, the features that you want to for the whole class. Obviously, we don't have to stock a whole pile of different maps. Um, we've actually got access to all of Ordnance Survey's mapping in one place. The children enjoy the fact that it's on a computer. Um, they often enjoy tasks that are based on the laptops, so it does hold their attention. It was like very helpful because all you need to do is type in the postcode and you don't have to type in like the whole name and stuff and where it was. You just need to type in the postcode and it's done. And you don't have to sort of put your finger on one place and then try and find the other place. You can just type in the postcode and it'll find it for you. The measurement tool has certainly been very simple for the children to pick up. They're, they're just sort of clicking away and every time they turn a corner they're clicking and putting another marker and they've picked that up incredibly quickly um, in order to measure distances. I'm definitely going to use it for the geography homework because it's easy to print off. Maths for measuring the distance between two points. I could like use them for like when I go on trips with my mates. Using something like Digimap, um, which is a fairly versatile resource, means that we can use it um, in other lessons like maths or history. And so really, really, really effective for all sorts of different areas, not just geography and mapping um, in the traditional sense. The costs uh, are well worth paying for the service that you get just because of the flexibility in it. I mean, if you considered going out and buying all those equivalent maps, I mean, that's something we couldn't even hope to be able to do. So um, it's very cost effective from that perspective, certainly.